The Banshees of Inishirin takes us on a remote Irish island where the lives of lifelong friends Pedrick and Colum are forever changed. Their friendship is abruptly cut short by Colum. <laughs> See what I did there? But as Pedrick's efforts to reach out to Colum grow increasingly desperate, a dangerous game ensues with unforeseen, heart-wrenching consequences. So as I'm watching this, I I know kind of the one-sentence synopsis about what this is about, but that's it. Kind of went in as blind as I could. And I loved I had no idea what year it was for the first 15 to 20 minutes. You find out <laughs> in about 20 minutes. But I genuinely didn't know if it was the 2000s, the right. 80s, the 1800s, because typically you kind of get these period pieces that have this this movie does take place in the, around the 1920s mm. and there's a scene with a calendar and you actually find out the exact date but i love that it didn't have that uh, industrial film grade that you typically associate with late 1800s early 1900s like european period pieces obviously you can use context clues right there's there's no power they're walking mm. everywhere but it's so gorgeous i would have walked everywhere anyway there i, I loved it i i love that uh the way the cinematography was done, for me, that they, 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 it didn't feel like a movie that was taking place in the 1920s. It felt like a modern movie as, at the same time as feeling like an old movie. And speaking yeah. of cinematography, I don't understand how this movie is not up for cinematography this year for the Oscars. Because, oh. the fr I, I mean, I loved everything. The framing, the lighting, the, just the, the use of space. I mean, the cinematographer did a phenomenal job. The plot seemed very, very slim for a two-hour movie to me. You you have a, a group of islanders, I guess. The only guy that you talk to out of these 20 people that, that are on this island just stop talking to you, and that's pretty much it. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, it's devastating when, when, you, yeah. when you have a population of two if the if the only other person that that's uh, apparently these two have been friends their entire life yeah and just to just to one day one guy goes you know what i don't like you anymore and yeah. don't talk to me i'm gonna cut my fingers off yeah I, I was curious why he didn't ask for like a small break you know it's like hey man can you give me like a month i'm trying to work on some music here you keep knocking on my door yeah give me about give me a month um and, and i'll be back uh but I did like he he does reiterate he's it's, it's not you it's me right it's it wasn't anything to do with uh well he was dull but he's like I I, I don't want to spend my time talking about your donkey's poop I want to work on some music he's not an interesting person he 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 is dull he's yeah. a farmer mm -hmm. it's a boring milk, walk you know he walks boringly yeah he does <laughs> he really does it's like oh I'm going to the yeah. pub you know it's so oh. annoying the way he walks so I understand where Colum is coming from mm. but then all because column is the exact opposite everybody wants to be around column mm. he's interesting he plays the fiddle he writes music he's obviously extremely intelligent and talented yeah and he's talking to all of these other people including uh, the cop on the island who beats his son it wouldn't make sense to me if i was colin farrell in this situation of why are you talking to these these bad people or these people mm -hmm. that, that aren't a part of our friendship for, for our entire lives. But you won't talk to me. It just doesn't make sense. Everyone around here is dull. There's nothing to do. Like there's no like there's no TV, obviously. So you can't just go, Oh, how how was that how was that game last night? Or how was that awesome show last night? You can't really just talk about anything else. You talk about your job, which you know, Patrick's job is to he's got dairy cows, so he sells milk to the to the shop yeah they were entirely uninterested in the war that was happening within that's an eye shot that's right. exactly what yeah. i was that's exactly what i was about to say the most interesting thing is going on around them but that's not what they're talking about at all what what is happening on the mainland is the irish civil war ireland is wanting to come out from underneath britain's rule but the one side the non-ira folks they're saying okay hey you know what we're, we can be independent, but we still have our the queen as a monarch, and let, let's do it that way. And the IRA says, no, we don't want to do that. So they're kind of like brothers fighting, right? Mm -hmm. Similar to Colum and Podrick. When Podrick looks across at the, at the mainland and they're fighting, he goes, good luck to you guys, whatever you're fighting for. It mm -hmm. kind of mirrors 
the conflict that he and Colum are having because he has no idea why they're fighting. Brendan Gleeson and Colum is cutting off his fingers, knowing what's going to happen, just like the two sides of the of the Civil War are are fighting, knowing what's going to happen. They're just hurting mm-hmm. themselves. But I, I like the dealing with the loneliness and the depression. Um, they're the two characters were calm was basically dealing with depression. And I think Patrick was basically afraid of being alone because like he, when his sister uh, goes away, he, he falls into like his own version of depression because he's alone. Like he's feeling like nobody wants to be around him anymore. You know, his friend leaves and his sister and all this stuff. Um, and it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, and I really, really like the scenes with the confessional. Like, I really like the writing and the dialogue of those scenes. Wouldn't you say a punch in a policeman is a sin? I hear. If punching a policeman is a sin, we may as well just pack up and go home. That guy's been punched a lot of times, apparently. If that's, uh, <laughs> I think that's right. the only policeman on the island or something. Well, yeah, yeah, he is. He, he is he's a strange character. The... Very strange. He, he's an odd character, and in, in going to my, to um the parallel with the the Civil War, he's like Britain. Yep. He's like, get mm. the hell away from me! You're always trying to 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 feck with me, and <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it anymore. And finally, he gets punched for it. <laughs> Well, since we're talking about the policeman, um, I'd like to at least talk a little bit about his son's character um, in this Dominic. I, I would say, if anything, he was probably one of my favorite characters in this movie. You know, he he's obviously in love with Siobhan, mm-hmm. and Siobhan doesn't want him. And during that scene, you, you, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, um, he almost slips into the river. Mm. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. So, which is, you know, obviously foreshadows what happens to him. I really liked his portrayal of the character. Um, he just felt for the guy. Like, in that rejection scene that John was talking about, the way he the way he did it, just, it just felt so natural. And it just felt, I don't know, it just, it just felt bad for the guy. Interesting. Yeah. I liked, what what I got from that is uh, basically Podrick saying, hey, I'm the dullard on the island, but not compared to this guy. And I think he... <laughs> That guy was also saying the same thing because doesn't he say he says some French term when they're eating dinner, and he's like, "Oh, you don't oh, know this right. French term," and he's he like, said, "Oh, wait, you're you really are the dumbest person on this island." Essentially, this even this moron fifteen year old is is more clever than you are. I've heard it's a barrel of feckin' laughs. Well, touche. To what? Che touche is from the French. Too. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> That gave me a good laugh when he did that. But that whole <laughs> diner scene, I, I just kept getting more and more on column side. Like, get all these people away from me. Like, uh, I guess maybe on the sister side, more than anybody. Who was the only character I could actually relate to in this whole thing was the sister, which is probably how you're supposed to feel. Um, I thought she was a badass. You could tell she's smart, too, because I've got the whole scene where Colum tr- tries to sound all smart and he gets some of the details incorrect and she comes up and actually corrects oh. him. It was the 18th century anyway. Mozart, not the 17th. Kind of does a mic drop on him. <laughs> and But she's like somewhat determined the whole time. And she looks like she can see the writing on the wall that there's no future. Like John said, I did recognize her outfits. That I didn't really put two and two together. I just know she kind of looked cool. I was like, oh, she's got a cool vibe that no one else on the island has. And then, obviously, she gets off the island, too. After that dinner, I would have got off the island, too, because it was just, I'm like, all these people suck. Get me out of here. Well, and, and on the island, no one no one likes Siobhan. No. Yeah. She's, she, she's, a, she's an outsider, and I think it's because she is smart. I don't think she's thinking that you're beneath me. But I think she's thinking, why am I going to waste my time? I, I have to love my brother, right? And I, and mm-hmm. I do love my brother. But um, I don't have to associate with you, so I'm not going to. So, But we need to decide if we are going to stream it or skip it. I'm going to say stream it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend streaming it also. I am going to skip it. I'm going to skip this movie, too. All right. Well, there you have it. We're 
split on the benches of Instrian. <laughs> yeah, we're two on two for two, gentlemen. Yeah. Um, Kyle, Rowan, sorry, you're dull. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't Keep be chopping your fingers, fingers off. <laughs> wow, that's really hurtful. <laughs> Go chop your fingers off, John. Right. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right. Cheers at home. <laughs> all right. So that does it for us today. Next week, we are going to be doing our live stream where we're going to be talking about some uh, movie news. And we're going to be uh, talking about the movies that we did for the month of February. And uh, we'll see you next Saturday. So see you, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you. See you.